this is helpful if you want to, um, you know, troubleshoot problems that you're having connecting to the internet or um, such. So I'm going to open up my folder here. I'm going to create a new batch file. And I'm going to name it uh, LAN, so Local Air Area Network Checker. I'm going to right click, edit. And first, obviously, we're going to type an at echo off. And then we are going to type in title. And we're just going to call, LAN, call it LAN Checker. Um, now later on in the batch file, we're going to uh, rename it the <coughs> rename the title so that it will be connected or disconnected. So how we're going to do this is we're going to um, so you need to have obviously if you're connected to this, you can um, do like. Uh, your uh, router, but it's helpful if you have another computer on your network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go if space exist, and here's where the uh, folder on your network um, comes in. So, and sorry about that. That is, I got a request from someone who um, wanted me to change the. Uh, a video back to, or the uh, scheme back to Windows Visual style, um, and this is where it's kind of running slowly, but I'll just keep it like that. So if exist, and then my computer that I set up, and we want two backslashes in front of your computer name, um, so that it'll know it's on the network, and then slash public. Now your computer should have a public folder, but if it does not, you need to create a folder that is accessible by everyone um, that you'll be able to access. So if that exists, we're going to go to good, and here we have bad. You don't need this tag, I'm just doing it for your sake so you can see. It's so now we're going to mean to say title disconnected and we're going to clear the screen and we're going to echo you are disconnected and just for aesthetics wise I'm going to um, put some lines underscores around this and then we're going to ping localhost so your computer dash n so how many seconds? We're going to go four seconds so that they can see one, two, three, four. And then will exit. Greater than null. Exit. Now we create our good tag. Clear your screen. Title. And then. So the title up here and down here is going to show connected, and we're going to go echo you are sorry about that, <laughs> and then we're going to again put the bars around, and you can mess with this and uh, change it to whatever you want. I'm just doing it like this. You don't have to do it like I'm doing, obviously. Dash n, and then let's go three greater than null. Exit. And you can change this to be whatever you want. And I'm going to save it, exit it, and see if it works. Okay, so you are connected. Now, by pressing the Windows key and X, I've opened up my uh, Windows Mobility Center here, and I'm going to turn wireless off. So I'm going to turn my networking off. And I'm going to run this again. And as you can see, it's not displaying anything. So that means we are disconnected. And I'll show you how to get that to work in a second. What you need to do to get that to work is right click on your file again, click edit. And before the if exist, we're going to put in if not exist. 
and then your computer path. And then the folder. And then we're going to go to bad, which we created the tag for before. So now if we run it again, it says you are disconnected. If we go back in here, turn our wireless on. And run it again. We are connected. So now we're going to change the color here. So we're going to do after bad, color 0C, which will change it to red. And um, here after the good, we're going to do a 0A. All right, so now let's test it here. You're connected in green. And uh, you are disconnected in red. So now I'm going to pause the video here, and I'm just going to change the size here. So just right-click on it, create a shortcut, right-click on the shortcut, go to Properties, go to Layout, and I'm just going to change the size so that it fits our text perfectly. So our width is 21, height is 4, and we're just going to go like 600, uh, maybe by 300, make that 500. So now if we click it, you're disconnected, and if I pause the video and turn our network back on, and we are connected. So you can change the icon, you can stuff down here. And now part two of the video, we're going to do how to test um, internet connection. So I'm going to delete our files here, create a new batch file. And we're going to name this internet. Uh, sorry about that, my uh, screen recorder cut out there. But I'm going to name it internet connection tester. And I'm going to right click and edit. So at echo off. And sorry if I didn't explain earlier how to create a batch file. Just open Notepad, click File, Save As, whatever you want, and then add dot .bat at the end. Dot .bat. Okay, title, Internet Tester. Color, we don't need. We're going to change that to red or green later. And we're going to uh, use the ping here. So... What we're actually going to do, this isn't going to tell us, oh, you're connected, oh, you're not. Um, we're actually going to have to uh, use our brains a little bit here. So, And we're going to actually ask um, what the, you want to test it by. And that may not make sense right now, but I'll explain it later. Later. So set forward slash P with a space in between. And then I'm just going to do CN for connection name equals, um, let's see. We're going to name it host name and then default is Google. And so CN. So we want to set as default CN as Google. So set CN equals www.google.com. So now that they entered that, we're going to ping and then in percents CN and I'm going to clear the screen after and echo some lines and then I'm going to echo request complete ping dash n we're going to do 5 just so you can see the results, and then dash, or uh, greater than all, exit. Now this should work right off the bat. Let's see if it does. No pun intended with the bat there, by the way. <laughs> Host name default is Google. I'm just going to press enter. And we obviously messed up there. So, uh, let's see. And that would definitely be why. Uh, we want to set CN, not CD. Sorry about that. Uh, no need to comment about that. I caught it, and I recognize that we all make mistakes, so I'm going to save it and try it again. I'm just going to press enter. And you can see we have a reply.
from the IP address, which is Google. So that means you're connected. And I'm just going to change the color here. <coughs> and uh, I'm going to turn our wireless off so we can test it. Press enter. And it said, could not find the host. So there you go. And that works. And even if you are connected to your network, like if your uh, wireless is turned on, um, but there's just a problem with your router or something like that, um, it will just, instead of saying um, destination ho host unreachable or something like that, it'll actually say requ request timed out. Um, so I think if we type in a uh, random IP address here, Maybe I didn't like a uh, no uh, device on my network has this. So this is what it'll do if you are con not connected, but uh, your router is working and your wireless is on. Request timed out. So thank you for watching my video. You can uh, create a shortcut here, change the icon, you know, make it all fancy uh, down here. I made this, you can change the comment, so it's like, does that, and I changed the color, and I made it so the title will say with a variable whatever they typed in, so via whatever the variable is. So there you go, and as a special thing at the end of here, I'm going to show you how to view the devices connected to your network. So I'm going to create a new batch file. At echo off title device. And I'm just going to type this out quickly here. And I'm going to put lines between. And then we're going to go net space view. And this will um, show you the, the devices on your network. Do that. And I'm just going to echo this and exit. Pause, greater than null, exit. And that should work for you. I'm not going to do it. Well, I'll just do it. We have time here. So it'll wait. And then I'll say that. And that's all your devices connected to your network. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions on this video, feel free to comment them. Um, if you have a request or even a uh, question, you can email at video request or the nerd at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, feel free to comment. Um, I love hearing from you guys, so thank you for watching.